my grandpa had a sh shed in his backyard in the valley of all places and it was like blistering hot and there was this wood shed that had like black tar paper on it and so I rigged it out and like put some lights in there and um, and got some blanks I shaped four of them and three of them three of my friends got and I kept one and that was kind of it at the beginning there it was more just like a weekly thing of okay, I wonder what this one does. Okay, now I rode that, I wonder what this one does. Every week it was almost like, okay, I'm making another board, I gotta figure out a way, how much work do I have to get done shaping so I can shape myself one board, you know? And then if other people want them, that's cool too. But it wasn't ever like, how am I gonna make a business out of this? Because almost everybody was like, you, this is the last thing you wanna do if you're not gonna go to school and you're gonna do boards. No one makes money doing this and we're not gonna show you how to do anything. So if you wanna learn, you learn on your own time. And, and that's how it was and that was really cool because I think when you go that route, even though at the time it felt kinda of harsh, like wow, no encouragement, but I love this. You know, it was like a passion immediately. It's really good for you because it forces you to be on your own program and discover and invent and innovate uh, from the very beginning. Every kind of board you could imagine, I was open to it because to me that's what makes it really fun too. All the best hand shapes over time, like I would save the magic ones and I'd make sure, hey, let me get that board back if it's magic, let me like tear it apart after and check every little thing, you know, the rail shape, where the fins were at, what kind of rocker it had and I measured everything out. And so I kept this book, like a ledger, like a bank ledger book. And I kept every board over like 10 years, all the measurements in this thing. And so by doing that, I kept all my best boards from that 10 years of hand shaping. And I put everything onto a computer program. Even though you had a magic board back then that was a hand shape, it wasn't necessarily that it, it was because it's a hand shape why it's magic. It's magic because it's functional. Things are always going to be moving forward and there's always ways to improve certain boards. The machine I have, it's designed to be a custom one-off machine so you can build custom boards because that's really where my heart is, is working with individual surfers no matter who they are and knowing that they can get a board for me that really is a board that I've designed for them, discussed with them about. Computer helps me do that because it allows me to not be so bogged down doing manual labor, buzzing foam away to get down where I want to be. And that way I get to spend time really, you know, building relationships with all the different surfers that we work with all over the world. And communication is really important to me to get a board that's going to be the best board for somebody. Mm -hmm.